Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I cut through rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, see what spills out. So this week we got three that I'm really excited for, three big chunks. So this is a nice piece of like half and half stromatoporoid, but this one actually has the vertical posts all throughout it, and such crazy microbanding, it's unbelievable in there, it's really hard to show on the camera though. But there you can see all the vertical posts in there. So what I want to do is I want to try to cut this thing right here and get two big slabs of it and see what's on the inside. See if there's tons of detail. So that'll be the first one. A little bit of chert in there too. So we'll see what happens. And this one is another one that's just kind of like a chert, mudstone, layered, you know, stromatoporoid. I find a lot like this. But this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it oh yeah you can see there's uh some sort of maybe algae plume or coral on top of this too but what i want to do is i want to cut a strip right like this to get a big old slab again and see what's on the inside of that i think it's going to be awesome and then third we have this sort of orange kind of peeling almost looks like a total nodule you know, you have a little window right there of some layering, stromatoporoid layering, probably. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to just go through this. I'm not sure which way, but I'm going to try to get through the middle of this egg. You know, maybe this way. I'm not sure, though. We'll see when we get to that third one, but... All right, so let's get the 10-inch slab saw set up, and let's get cutting these big boys. Okay, so I got this thing cut right where I wanted it. I got the thinner slab off. So let's see if we got some of those posts in there. Oh, sweet. Look at that. So that is unbelievable right there. You can see all those vertical posts all throughout the very super micro banded layers. That is like almost a perfect piece. Wow. Got some mudstone in there, some other solidified fossil probably on the bottom there. Some oolite, some mudstone. Really, really cool. So these are probably going to stay just like this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but it's actually really hard to get this cross section of a stromatoporite where the vertical lines don't disappear in there. Sweet. So one for one. So let's get on to that second one. Okay, so through that second one, got that one right where I wanted it to. Maybe we can go two for two for just craziness in there. Let's see if there's anything inside this egg shape. <laughs> Pretty much just layers, very pity, but still really cool. You got some of that mudstone, those micro mudstone layers kind of in there, but the rest of them kind of got eaten out of there, you know, dissolved away. But that actually is not bad. That might not make a bad freeform piece standing just like that with those pits in there. Not bad, not bad. You know, pittier than I would like, but you, know, you can see some of that really intricate layering right there. Not much though, not as much as I would have hoped. But not bad, a little pity. I'm gonna definitely call that two for two because that's still just awesome looking. Look at that, all those layers. Just a little pity. All right, so let's get on to that third one. Whew, okay, that was a rough cut because I went for the biggest face, you know, biggest face possible, so I went the long way. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, look at that. A perfect nodule. We get all of those rings coming out. And then you can see some of the vertical patterns there in the end again. 
another ring of mudstone right through the middle. Looks like two big eyes. And look at that, I cut, I cut the dark material on this side and the light on this side. That's awesome. So those are also going to make a really cool piece. You know, some free forms probably because these things really aren't that gritty at all. Sweet. So went three for three with three really cool and really different stromatoporoids this week. All right, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.